Let's state it and negate it. To master the art of logical argument, it's not enough to be able to state a definition or a theorem affirmatively. We also need to know how to state them negatively. And this can be tricky when the statements are quantified. Let's start with a logical implication. An if-then statement, like if x squared is equal to 2, then x is not a rational number. We can form related statements by reversing the truth value of its pieces, by reversing the order of its pieces, or by reversing both. And just like when double negatives make a positive, each of the single reversals, known respectively as the inverse and the converse, is not equivalent to the original statement. But the double reversal, the contrapositive, is equivalent to the original. Quantifiers can make things more powerful, but also more tricky. When 60s folk group The Birds sang, to everything there is a season, they were using two logical quantifiers, the universal for all, followed by the existential there exists, and the order in which these appear matters. Placing for all first brings all possible things onto the table, and then it asserts the existence of a season for each one. On the other hand, what would it have meant to say there is a season to everything? That brings a single season to the table first, and then associates to it all possible things. And this is a big difference. To see the difference, you can add the word unique when the existential quantifier comes first, and add the phrase its own when the existential quantifier comes second. Finally, remember that in a negation, quantifiers reverse their type. If we wanted to prove that the birds were lying, that to everything there is a season is false, what evidence would we need? We would need to find a thing, even just a single thing, for which there is no season at all associated with it. That reverses the leading for all into a there exists, and a trailing there exists into a for all. We would call this kind of falsifying statement a counterexample, since only one instance would suffice to disprove the bird's universal claim.